here to share my journey with WordPress in the last 12 years. Since it's going to be a lightning session, I'll be just focusing on very few points. How I got introduced to WordPress and four other points which I learned from my life with WordPress. So, everybody has a start with new technology. Something needs to be introduced. How it comes is how it impacts your life also. So why I got introduced to WordPress is because I was very lazy and I don't like to code. It was in 2007, I was doing my B.Tech studies and I don't like to code at all. Even, if, even though a computer student, I don't like to code. But I need to build websites. I need to learn to learn. Then comes the WordPress. At that time, actually WordPress was having a fight between a blogging tool versus CMS. And always for me, WordPress was a CMS. It introduced to me as a CMS, and still now it's a CMS. Okay. So, why I liked WordPress was because of its principles, especially the open source principle. I was a fan of Linux at that time, and WordPress was similar to Linux itself. It was open source, it was GPL, and it was open to all and free. More than that, I don't want to go. That was the concept at that time. But when I got introduced to it and used to it, I understood that by coding we can make WordPress better and we can do a lot of things. So for WordPress, I learned coding. Something I don't love, I learned just because I love WordPress. And uh, I have been doing a lot of websites since 2007. But it took two years for something I need to show public. It reached me just because I was doing uh, WordPress and that website was built by someone, started by someone in WordPress. It didn't came to me because I was a website developer, it came to me because I was someone who knew to code in WordPress. So that, that was a relation to start with WordPress. Then for the next two, three years, I was actually doing WordPress as a hobby. Something like if someone wants to have a website, some friend need a website, okay, I'll be doing it in WordPress. But I was focused on something else. I was an Android developer also. So I started a company for an Android app. So at that time, Android apps was just getting familiar with everyone. And in three, four years, I basically failed. So after failing, after struggling with all this funding and all, my company was actually doing more. So those less hope in, for me in that. At that moment, someone came to me with an idea of building a complex web website. Something which is having a lot of search functions, something which is having a lot of profile, a lot of user base, and it was pretty much complex. So the challenge was how we build it. And something I know was WordPress. So my friends and me actually started in WordPress. We, in six months, actually, we successfully completed the project, and that was the moment we identified we have to do something we love that much, and we are very much specialized in it. So we planned for a forking of business. We stopped all the other projects, and in 2014, we founded the WordPress agency named Midney. So after founding an agency and after doing one project, so everyone thinks, every entrepreneur at that moment thinks that okay, work is going to flow to us and we'll be doing more and more projects and we'll be killing out. And we had a SaaS goal also. When founding this agency, we had a SaaS goal of an automated website builder in, with WordPress. So WordPress multi-site was one thing which was similar to that which we could use and we were very much focused on WordPress multi-site. This, with our love to WordPress and the skill in WordPress, we, we were doing all this stuff and all this project was there. And the very next moment, it comes that the person who actually, the people who introduced us that the new project, they were not able to take it ahead. They failed in funding and they were not able to move it ahead. And again, there's a dilemma question. So we need to find new clients. Huh? But all this trouble didn't made us stop the work there. We were helping out people throughout this time and we just went more into the forums. It's not WordPress.org forum or it's not uh, Stack Overflow or anything like that. We went to some premium WordPress forums. We paid to get the memberships and we went in there in supporting those. 
we just helped him with a few comments and after that what happened was one guy came to us to get help. The real developers, the original plugin developers was not able to help because of their busy schedule for the last six months and the same thing was with a small plugin bug and we solved it nearly. Then he actually referred to us a lot of clients, more and more clients. Okay. So these all these clients, they actually provide good accolades and they made us content enough to bring more and more clients to us and do more and more stuff. Every time we were building a new client, actually we were helping our roles. We were dedicating our 50% of our time in helping in forums, suggestions, comments and all those stuff. Whatever small snippet we know here, we are sharing it out. And that was actually building the clients for us. So slowly in two, three years, we actually made a pretty good client base all over the world. Even with this client, we were actually not doing good. So that made us think, okay, why we are not doing good? We still, uh, we get enough work to work on, but we still were having trouble to find a work for next month. Every uh, first of every month, we need to check out the resources, including the finance, and see that there was nothing with us. So there comes the monkeys. This monkey's term is actually a uh, point because someone said, we can get any monkeys, from, especially from Bangalore, Hyderabad, in India, uh, for dollar five to code. We don't need a person who codes for huge sum amount. We were actually coding at that time for 15, 20 dollars. And after this one, a lot of people think WordPress development is for free. WordPress is free, so development is for free. And there was also clients uh, who was not paid. So all these things actually made us take huge distance and that was uh, here you could see. We actually fired those clients who didn't accept our work and who tried not to pay us. There are a lot of clients who just think that for us all client is king and they think we are all their staff. So we just fired those clients and tried to do things better. Even if after that we had a lot of problems, every day we have problems and they are just going on and on and we have to solve it time to time. So they're actually, uh, the time is less, very few minutes remain for me, so I'm just going fast. So why I have a bond with WordPress? After all this time, I am still bond with WordPress because of very few things. WordPress allows us to share knowledge. The GPA license, the community, giving back to WordPress, WordPress.org and a lot of other forms. All this suggests to help us. Share 50% at least 50% of what you know. Share your knowledge and you'll get more and more. Still, WordPress community actually influences every aspect of my life, not just company or business, every aspect of my life is influenced by WordPress community. And these things, actually, please look to the screen because this is very much important. Few errors which I have done in my life, but I do not want to do again, and I always advise to others also. Never sell WordPress because it's free. Sell your service, not WordPress. WordPress is free, but your service is not. So make people know that your service is fair. Then never provide service that's cheap. Because someone will, someone will be asking for you for cheap service, but don't give it out. We were helping it out. People who were asking for cheap, we are helping it out. And they were the most headaches which we have faced. And never ever use pirated resources. Someone actually who is selling a pro plugin or a pro team, buy that team. Don't use the pirated version. Always recommend the right choice, not WordPress. Every solution is not made with WordPress. So if you don't recommend the right choice for that, the people who get that bad solution with WordPress, they think it is just because of WordPress. WordPress is totally bad. So don't give that impression. Give the right choice. If something else is better than WordPress for something, recommend that. Don't use WordPress for that. And one last point on this one. It's about WooCommerce. If you are going to sell WooCommerce to someone, make them know that a $500 WooCommerce website will not make them fortune. It will be just like a display second sale. They want to invest more and more in marketing and other stuff to get sales. Because in my experience, every $500 website to order, WooCommerce to order, they think that they are going to be next Amazon by investing just $500. 
this list will be again going on. I will be available in network area. So you can come with me, come to me actually, uh, if you find this interested, I will be able to know more about my experience in WordPress. And the future of WordPress, I believe in WordPress, and I, want, I know that you all people believe in WordPress. WordPress is here to stay, and it will be changing according to whatever the global community demands. Thank you.